We made ourselves clear to the army on the passers-by, indicating that we are the press. Then within seconds there was the first shot. I told them that we are being targeted, we are being shot at. I turned and found Shireen on the ground. I found Shatha shielding herself by a tree and screaming. I turned and found Shireen on the ground in the first few seconds with the shooting and we were telling each other that we were being shot at. The shooting continued for more than three minutes on the teams that were there. هذه المسيرة هي المسيرة الخامسة والعشرين إحياء لذكرى النكبة فيما يحتفل الإسرائيليون في ذكرى تأسيس إسرائيل يحيي الفلسطينيون ذكرى نكبتهم We were going to film the Israeli army operation and suddenly they shot us without asking us to leave or stop filming. The first bullet hit me and the second bullet hit Shireen. They killed her in cold blood because they are killers and specialize in killing only Palestinian people. So they claimed that some Palestinian militants were there. We had no resistance and there was no Palestinian military resistance at all at the scene. Killing journalists, shooting the messenger, is equivalent to a war crime. Mm. So we need to know what has happened. The world needs to know what has happened. It has been shown that, you know, Israeli forces kill Palestinians, including Palestinian journalists, without cause in the occupied territory. And it's very ex extremely rare that Israeli soldiers, captains, or military officials are ever held accountable for their actions. So it's ironic that the foreign minister says that journalists must be protected when, when you're talking about journalism in Palestine. Israel is the biggest perpetrator of crimes against journalists in, in the West Bank.